Hey everyone. So, last Tuesday, um, there was an Apple event, and just like every year, there's a new iPhone, and a few other things. Um, let's just get right into it. So first off, they um, talked about actually uh, Apple Arcade, which now has a uh, release date of September 19th, and it will be $4.99 for all the games that will be included in Apple Arcade, which there are quite a few and quite a few um, decent looking ones. Um, one of the ones they showed off uh, was a Frogger game, which I think the last time I played Frogger was on my PS1. <laughs> so uh, it looked interesting. Um, I didn't see anything else that really caught my eye, but there's going to be a lot of stuff that's included in Apple Arcade and it's all you know all part of your subscription so apple tv plus finally has a um a release date of november 11th and it will also be 4.99 a month um 4.99 a month gets you all the shows that will be part of it which a few of them will be there at launch um, I think like the morning show will be part of it at launch and it will work on um, quite a few smart TVs and boxes not just the Apple TV um, on your laptop uh, your iPad and uh, your phone and there will be a web version um, so you can watch pretty much anywhere, just like you can Netflix or Hulu or Prime Video. Um, that will all be for 99 a month. Me personally, I, I it's only been one show that they've shown off that actually mm, interests me at all. Um, and I'll probably wait for all the episodes to come out and then just binge watch that season of the show and I don't even remember what the name of the show is I just remember the plot that's you know like an alternate history where Russia makes it to the moon before the United States um I can't remember what the name of the show is <laughs> a surprise thing that I really wasn't expecting them to do uh they announced a seventh generation iPad which yes that's that surprising um too much because I mean eventually they were going to but I figured they would wait until like an October event to do that which is usually where they like announce iPads and Macs things like that anything that's not an iPhone um the new entry level um, iPad 7th gen is a A10 Fusion chip. Uh, it supports the first gen um, Apple Pencil, just like the current one. Uh, works with the smart keyboard for that you would get with like the iPad Pro. That's actually nice. Uh, it's a 10.2 inch display, Retina, like usual. Um, and it starts at 329 for the Wi-Fi model and 459 for the Wi-Fi and cellular. Um, you can pre-order it right now. Um, it's in the stores on September 30th. And apparently iPad OS will be available on it on September 30th when it comes out. So if you were wondering when iPad OS is going to come out, now you know. <laughs> and now they also announced um, a new Apple Watch Series 5, which 
pretty much what you're getting is an always on display. I mean, there, there really isn't that much different from that versus the four. It's just that always on display. So if you, you know, want to have display on, or that's my arm. I can't. It's, yeah. Or I can just do this and it'd be upside down. Yeah. There we go. Want this on all the time. <gasps> then you can get in series five. If not, then stick with what you have. <laughs> um, it really isn't that much difference. <laughs> I mean, if you're updating from like a series zero or a series one, then fine, get in a series five. So you can also get the series um, three for one ninety nine now. So uh, this is a series three, and it works just fine. <laughs> it does everything I want it to do, and I don't know. There, there really isn't that much to upgrade. I mean, there, oh, there's a compass in it now, so better GPS I guess um, they tell the series 5 is having 18 hours of battery life um, with the always on display wonder if you can go into settings and turn that off and if you could like maybe double that that would be nice actually that's what I would do because I don't really care about it being on all the time I, I find that would be kind of annoying but there, there's times when that would be um, worth it for some people. Uh, now we get to the um, main point of this video. Uh, the iPhone 11, which comes in actually six new colors. Uh, purple, yellow, green, black, white and Project Red. Um, they are a 6.1 Retina uh, display LCD, so it's the liquid um, Retina or whatever they called it on the um, XR. Um, still has dual cameras just like um, the previous model. Um, Except one of them is now an ultra-wide uh, lens, which looks amazing. Um, they tell a uh, night mode, which gives you a lot better uh, low-light pictures. Uh, it basically it automatically comes on when it detects that it's you know a low-light situation, so. It's nothing you have to do, like a lot of things with the iPhone. Uh, the self camera is now a 12 megapixel um, camera, and it can do full motion, which I, I mean, cool. <laughs> I, I don't <laughs> see much reason to have slow-mo on the front facing camera but whatever uh it's powered by a a13 bionic chip um they're saying that's fastest cpu and gpu in a smartphone right now probably uh it does support wi-fi 6 so if you have a router that supports Wi-Fi 6. Now you have a device that works with Wi-Fi 6. Uh, and they, they're they starting them at $699 this time. So a lot cheaper than last year's model. Even cheaper than the uh, RX, which was the more popular version of, of the phones from last year. Uh, and they did announce that iOS 13 would be coming out on September 19th. And weirdly enough, 
iOS 13.1 will be on September 30th, along with iPad OS, which is different. They've never really done that before. Usually, like, a point one update would, you know, come, like, in November, you know. So, it, it pretty much just adds some things that um, they took out of iOS 13, because I guess they weren't ready, like automation and um, shortcuts. Uh, which, to me, I, I really... <laughs> In beta testing, uh, I, I really love. <laughs> I love the automations. I I use them quite a bit now. Um. So, an official release of them will come out in the com coming weeks, with like the whole thing finally being done on the thirtieth. Basically, get everything. <laughs> But they didn't stop there. The iPhone 11 wasn't the only thing they announced. They also announced the iPhone 11 Pro, which is more of a successor to the 10S um, and the um, 10S Max. This phone will have, um, a, you know, just like the previous models of. Uh, 6.5 or of 5.4? I think I, I may have miswrote that. Uh, display on them, so, you know, your choice, the Pro or the Pro Max. Um, Super Retina XDR display, which is what they're calling it. it it's, it's an OLED screen. It, it's like, you know, if you have a 10, a 10X, uh, 10 X. Oh my God. <laughs> a 10, a 10 S. It's an OLED display. Um, they're saying it is about four more hours of battery life compared to last year's models. Uh, or compared to the um, 11. Uh, you can get a fast charger with this phone as well. Uh, the camera also has a 12 megapixel um, wide cam you know, camera lens, the normal 12, you know, 12 megapixel um, telephoto lens, and an ultra wide lens for three, um, for three um, lenses on it. Uh, so it has a really good zoom, <laughs> basically. Um, they also talked about a thing called Deep Fusion, which is coming in uh, iOS 13.1, uh, which will take like nine photos and then kind of try to intelligently combine them all for a nice detailed photo. Um, that looks really cool. Um, and you can get the iPhone 11 Pro starting at $999 and the iPhone 11 Pro Max at $1099, which is roughly about the same as like the 10 and the 10, 10 Max. Um, and iPhone uh, XR and uh, 8 are sticking around with a cheaper price point. Um, and you'll be able to get them, uh, pre-order them. Um, you can pre-order them basically right now and they will be available on September 20th. Uh, for both the 11 and 11 Pro. So, that is it for the um, Apple event. Uh, the Pro was kind of a surprise, even though it had been rumored. But I really didn't think they were going to do a Pro phone. So I guess it kind of makes sense. 
because now basically what was the 10 line is now the pro line and the rx is now the you know every the phone for everyone else <laughs> um which really you're not sacrificing all that much um it, it's definitely a really good phone and a yeah, pretty good price point um i guess they got the message so yeah until next time bye